Okay, well, I was going to do it in my bikini, but I'm, uh, <clears throat> we're not that desperate yet for your attention. Um, I've been compelled, obviously, to get this bloody video camera out again. Um, the situation as it is at the moment is that people need to realise uh, just what it is that's going on with the coronavirus. You are the virus that brought down the Crown Corporation, therefore you are referred to as the coronavirus. You are responsible for um, bringing down the Crown Corporation by assigning your consent away from there, which meant that they couldn't use your share of this planet and its resources. So what, and not all of you obviously you haven't all done that, it's 22 million people have done that. Uh, they've assigned their consent across to Universal Law Community Trust, which is to themselves. That takes with them all of their assignment of consent, the water, the gold, the stocks, the shares, the bonds, everything that you were divvied up and being sold on the stock exchange uh, represented by your use of their legal fiction. So by people following that uh, set of steps that we've put on the website www.universallawcommunitytrust.com you do have to put https semicolon double slash before that um, because it's just getting hijacked by the system they don't want you to see the solution now um, that happened in the February 24th of February on the 25th of February um, they opened the stock market and it crashed and now the reason for that is because they have to have a AAA credit rating and over the years we built up the debt up to 10 quadrillion and um, obviously they couldn't pay us anyway because we don't accept slave tokens which would mean that we were back in commerce if we did under their jurisdiction so we only accept rocks um, if people start to think what is it that you have actually uh, got the right of use of you've got a share of this rock which rock planet earth so we said we don't accept slave tokens so we're just going to take one rock which rock planet earth and that is all represented by all of your shares of that rock uh, back in in your own hands um, and we've created Kindness Credit Energy Exchange from there um, and our own currency. So I don't want to uh, carry on repeating myself about the process. The process is there for you to follow. You've been claiming against yourself all your life, uh, using the legal fiction and being coerced into claiming against your equity, which means that you've always been in fraud. It's that simple. So now you've got a choice, you can either carry on doing that or you decide to do something else. Um, what that is, uh, we've got to, it's up to you, but as long as it's not that, then we know that doing that gets us what we've just got rid of. So, what we've created uh, between us all now, um, I've been doing this for the last five years, going around telling people, use rocks, you've seen the videos. This has encouraged people to discharge their liabilities, which has freed up their time, which meant that they were free to give five hours a week. Obviously, a lot of people have given more than that. And we've been able to replicate the uh, accounts that were all in hard copy all into an online accounting system, thanks to some very talented, uh, well, one very talented individual who will, shall remain anonymous at the moment. And... Um, He's been able to replicate what's been going on in my head and on these in these books so that you are now able to minister yourself. You take back all of the roles that they've divided you uh, and compartmentalized you into um, and you have to go normally to a stockbroker or a trust fund manager or a lawyer or an accountant or a minister or a judge or, or even your own police. Um, to be able to access your resources and now that hasn't doesn't happen anymore you have got with one password all of that at your fingertips now the assignment of consent um, and the constitution of the universal law community trust 
uh, explain and outline what it is that we will only invest our share of the resources in, which is free uh, energy, organic farming, uh, organic food production, and natural remedies instead of pharmaceuticals. Now, because HM government lost their credit rating, anything that they'd licensed, um, such as these corporations, including land registry and, and all agencies thereof, are, are, are secured um, by that filing, which is why um, they have then run around screaming that you've got, got coronavirus to try to keep you under control to then come to you with the suggestion that you need to have a chip. Now, don't take my word for it. Go and have a look yourselves. Go and have a look at a company called Biohacks. Biohacks have already projected God knows how many billions off the top of my head in its first year, which is actually impossible for a startup company to be able to predict unless everybody on the planet was to use its product. How can it predict that? Because the legislation of the corporate states have uh, obviously uh, jumped on the bandwagon with the coronavirus to say that you're going to need to have a digital chip inserted in some region of your body. So uh, via the vaccine, and when that happens, they're going to come to you and they're going to ask you, first of all, can I just confirm your name? And immediately that you say, this is me, X, Y, Z, capitalized version of the given name, last name first, first name last. That's you assigning your share of this planet and its resources back to them. So it's going to back that serial number of that chip. That chip and that serial number then is going to be represented in, through the gold time stock exchange, which is the new cryptocurrency, literally crypto, because you're dead the minute that you do that, um, by Icon Group. Now have a look at Icon Group. Biohacks have sold 25% share of their company to Icon Group and these are all the dirty bastards, Goldman, uh, Goldman Sachs, uh, JP Morgan, who we've gone and spent all this time getting rid of um, and I just think it's a real disappointment if you're all going to just go and consent and assign your rights back to this private corporation slavery system <coughs> owned by the Vatican um, after all of the work that we've all put in to bring this system to its knees. So what's the alternative? Well, we've got kindness credits, as you've seen on some of the videos. Um, yes, lots of people laugh and say oh, it's a rock. That rock in your hand represents your share of the planet and its resources. And that is what your transactions in the equitable part of your accounts have been backed on all along. The share of the planet and its resources of this rock, your share of this rock, hasn't been in your hand before because you've been converting it into pointless and slave tokens um, that have just perpetuated your own slavery and around and around and around you've gone trying to buy back your rights to the resources that you have assigned away by consenting to using that name and those pieces of paper to represent you and, and to uh, create a, a method of exchange with. So we don't do that obviously. Uh, as long as you just don't do that. So everyone's like, right, okay, I don't want to do that. I don't want to use slave tokens. What can I do? So we've been changing the money. At before point of sale, you go to the shop, put some rocks in your pocket, take a receipt book, take your slave tokens, and show the people that I am from a kindness credits. I'm from Universal Law Community Trust. My currency and my energy is converted into a different currency. It's called kindness credits. And it looks like this, one little rock. And they're going to look at you like you're completely insane, of course. But don't let that stop you because you're the one that's sane. Because you're the one who's keeping yourself in the private. So you say to them, right, I'm just like if you come to Europe, you have to change your money from pounds into euros. Just go to 
going to America, the same thing applies. So your local currency is whatever it is that you, lo that you accept as legal tender. So if you don't accept slave tokens as your legal tender and you're actually sitting there and, and demonstrating this to people, you want to do a demonstration, do this. Let's say it's £10 for the thing that you just wanted. So give the guy £10 but don't give him it straight away. Put the £10 on the table, let's say it's 8 so that it's easy to work out. <laughs> let's, it's, say it's £10, you've got 20 rocks. Each little rock is the same as 50 cents, okay? Just get that in your mind. So if 10 pounds of slavery looks like that, then uh, 10 pounds equivalent of my energy looks like 20 little rocks. We can all get that, I'm sure, okay? We can all play Monopoly. So, you say to the guy behind the counter, look, I haven't got a contract, imagine, if you go out of Europe, you go see the shops that say tax-free shopping. All you have to do is take your passport in there and you say to them, I'm not from Europe, I'm from out of Europe and I therefore have got no contract to pay tax. So you have duty-free shopping. That is what you're doing. So you've got a Minister of Mabend card. You are duty-free, therefore, because you do not have a contract with any corporate state. It doesn't matter where you are in the world, you can all do this. And you say to them that you have not got a contract with the local agency that is taking tax. Okay, so knock me the tax off. Let's say it's let's say it's twenty percent. Got argument to say. So now that that item that you wanted has come down to eight pounds of your slavery. Uh, don't know how many hours that's going to take for you to make. Everybody's different. So let's say that you then take two of the pounds back, or two of the euros back from the ten pounds, and take. Two, uh, four of your rocks back at the table and show them that, right, so that's eight, so there's 16 rocks there. So this is four, uh, two, four rocks and that is two slave tokens because each rock represents 50 cents. So then you write a receipt and you say, right, you're gonna force me into slave, slavery because if I give you these rocks, you're not going to know what to do with them. I don't want to cause you a liability. You're telling me that your local legally accepted tender is slave tokens. Okay, I knew when I got off the boat that I was going to have to come and interact with you slaves over here, mindless idiots. And so I'm going to show you what changing my money looks like. I don't go to a money exchange. I've already done it. Just showing you here, I'm the bank and I'm the money exchange and I'm the minister of my own resources so here's a receipt for the money exchange not for the thing that I'm buying now what are you now? You're a bank what do you mean I'm a bank? I'm a coffee shop no, now you're the bank now we're at point of sale before we do the exchange I'm gonna change, you're gonna make me change my currency into these slave tokens aren't you? yes okay so one uh, uh, it's really one kind of credit, so I can give you this piece of paper instead. And it's because obviously you don't want 16 rocks banging around in your pocket. Pull out a piece of paper with one of our promissory notes on it, write one kind of credit on there, give him that, and let him look at you again. And, and, and he will say to you, I don't know what to do with that. Okay. I'm not going to give it to you because I don't want to cause you a liability. I'm, going to, I'm showing you that that one kind of credit is the same as eight slave tokens and I'm going to give you them both and I'm going to give you the receipt to say there was a money exchange done and now I'm going to write a receipt to say one piatta e mera one dish of the day was one kindness credit or eight slave tokens and I'm putting slave tokens I'm not putting pounds or dollars or yen I'm putting slave tokens on there and you now Mr. Shopkeeper can decide you've got two roads now you can decide whether you pay your tax your tax I've decided I'm not paying tax and you're not going to be an unpaid tax collector for me uh, for for the system because I've got a contract with them so you want to pay tax that's okay you go and pay your tax and so I haven't forced my beliefs on you you haven't forced 
your beliefs on me. Nobody's supported the terrorists at this point of the sale. If you want to exchange that and notify the tax agency that you're connected to or through your license or whatever it is that you do, your accountant, then you can pay your tax on that eight slave tokens or you can pay your tax with rocks. Now, how simple is that? It is so simple and the people who I've done this with at point of sale are like, right, okay, now I want, where do you get the rocks from? That's the, now you're in. These rocks, they, they, where do I get the rocks from? They, these rocks are everywhere. This is planet Earth. This is giving them to me freely. And this represents my share of the planet and its resources. My stocks, shares, bonds, my rights of use of, of this planet and its resources are inside an account called Kindness Credits. And at the token uh, gesture point, as my energy is represented by these rocks, which means that you're actually feeding the Crown Vatican Crown Corporation system, banking system, International Monetary Fund, the terrorists' rocks in your tax. Okay, so along came the system and they were like, oh my God, we have to do something. So look what they're doing. They're taking the money and they're changing it into a currency of their own. So they decided to make it all electronic, take the paper away, and um, and so now what you can do is you can log into your Kindness Credit account and you can exchange your electronic currency that's sitting in your slave token bank account that's represented with a, let's say, visa to slavery or MasterCard. Um, and you put in the number, you walk in the shop, you say, right, I want to pay with Kindness Credits. Oh, well, we don't know what they are. Um, okay, well, uh, go. I'm, I'm, give me your IBAN number. Oh, okay, give me your IBAN number, and you can send directly the tax-free equivalent of the transaction at the point of sale straight in from the, your slave token account to a, his IBAN holding account. But it, because it goes through our kindness credit account first, it is a money exchange. So it starts in slave tokens, electronic currency. It's converted through the kindness credit account into its equivalent of rocks. And then it's sent to them and they have a receipt for a money exchange. And so do you. And that's it. The other thing that we can do is we want to put uh, we don't want a cashless society and all that bullshit. We want our, we want to have the control of your own currency. So these pieces of paper, what you can do is you can go. Let's say you come into my shop and I say, look, I don't accept slave tokens, so you need to change your money into a currency that I will accept. Oh, how do I do that? Okay, well, you need a kindness credit account. Also. I'll just create you a Proton Mail account. You go on to Proton Mail, create a Proton Mail account, give him the your customer the login uh, password for that, and then log into your kind of credit account, create a new account for your new customer with uh, your Proton Mail address. Uh, sorry. Uh, with their Proton Mail address inside your Kindness Credit account and it'll issue them a temporary login details which they can then later change for you to do a transaction within as quick as it takes for you to put the numbers in on the screen. Now what happens is they can actually convert slave tokens into Kindness Credits and you can put those into circulation in their paper form. So. Let's say he wants to not use, he doesn't want anything in your shop. He's come to you as a kindness credit converter, which is replacing the money exchange shops that you normally go to, Western Union and all of those, out the window. Come along to one of our kindness credit converters with your bank card and you say, right, I want to convert. I don't, Why would I want to use these pieces of paper if I'm going to be taxed on them? 
my, I'm immediately going to lose between 20 to 30 percent. The person that I'm going to give it to, they're going to lose between 20 to 30 percent, and therefore, look, just in one transaction, the system takes 60 percent. That's before we've even bought the products and paid the tax on that to be able to put them in the shop to then offer them to the next person as a method of supporting ourselves are using this exchange process. Why would we want to do that? Uh, because we're stupid, that's why. Anyway, you don't have to be stupid anymore. You can, you can ex go on to the website, go into Kindness Credits uh, Global Fusion, and you put in your, uh, the, uh, the card number of the person who wants to exchange their currency into Kindness Credits, and the system goes straight to their account, takes out the relevant amount, you it holds it in a holding account, so there's no, we're banking slavery. We don't want to use, we don't want to do any more transactions with that currency. So that then sends you a notice inside your kind of credit account that you've just received, let's say you've taken eight euros or eight pounds off this bank card, put it into your holding account. The holding account is then connected because you put your kindness credit account number in and you will receive a, a notification to say that you have received one kindness credit in your account from their account number that you have just entered into the system. So now you've got a choice. You can convert that back into slave tokens anytime you like or everybody can see that holding account it's all open source it's all there's no non-disclosure behind our non-disclosure we have a non-disclosure against the system we're not telling them anything about what's going on because we're private behind our non-disclosure it is all disclosed there is nothing kept secret from anybody so everybody can see inside that pot and at any time, so then what you can do as the kindness credit converter, you can give him a kindness credit note and it's got a, a unique reference number on there to prevent any fraudulent activity. You give it to the guy and he goes off and he puts that into circulation. Now at any time, anybody, let's say it's gone 10 exchanges down the road and number 10, the guy who's got it, number 10, thinks, oh shit, I need to go and put fuel in my car need to check to see is this valid first of all before I accept it so you can log in here the information's on the back where to log into log in here yes it's valid here's the slave tokens what would you would you like to cash it into slavery would you like to convert back to slavery yes I need to I need to put fuel in my car okay so he puts in the he's claiming the credit that's sitting in the holding account now. And he does that with the note. So the note, as soon as the note, that serial number has been claimed, we can see which account it's gone to and the kindness credit note is destroyed. Now, yes, of course, people can carry on passing it around, but when somebody comes to check it, if you're going to be stupid enough to accept a piece of paper without validating whether it's valid or not, then on your head be it. It's very simple. You go into the validation part of the website and you put the number in and lo and behold, there it is. And it says, do not accept this note. This note has already been cashed out. So that's how we are overcoming um, all of this bloody psychological warfare that's going on at the moment get a grip of your own minds stop arguing the toss about something that's already been done to death 800 years people talk about community uh, common law now let's go further back than that let's go to two or three thousand years before cut out what we've been doing for the last two thousand years which is roman canon infiltration of our indoctrinated minds and say thank you very much we can see from history how well that's panned out and for who it's panned out well for so thank you very much but we won't be doing that and let's go back to something that worked very very well which was sparta money using rocks and okay we've got a bit of a twist on there because we're using electronic currency now but it means that they buy they cannot stop you converting your currency into another currency that is tax-free because that's how their system works
in exactly the same way that their system works by them creating you a debt and saying if you don't pay this debt we're going to come and steal your collateral. So we did the same thing to them. We said if you use our communities, Perusia, Equity, without their consent then you'll be entering into contractual obligations with us which look like 20 million every time you use that name. In your system it's 20 million, in our system it's uh, 40 million rocks. Okay, so if you do that, then you'll be entering into a commercial agreement with us based on this currency, so we're not really under your jurisdiction. It just looks very similar. What we're doing is holding a mirror up to this opposition and saying, right, now tell us that you, we can't do the same thing that you did in order for you to sit where you are to do it again to us. So they used something called Uniform Commercial Code 9609610 and that is called the Restoration of Rights of the Creditor. If the uh, equity is peacefully surrendered there is no need for any court uh, sitting or hearing and they came along and they said oh look at all these idiots peacefully surrendering their share of this planet and its resources behind the legal fiction that is copyrighted by us thank you very much you sheep and here you go we've got it over here would you like to buy some poisonous water from us so thank you very much well no thanks so we did the same thing to them we said because you haven't discharge this liability that you've caused of 10 quadrillion slave tokens worth of kindness credits and because we've taken the uh, collateral as one rock because we only accept rocks in our currency then we have now followed the process that they used to steal your rights off you in the first place and either way you've got them because if they turn around and say no you cannot do it like the land registry turned around and said in writing they said that they do not recognise a, uh, a debt equity swap as having any validity. Well, bloody bravo, guys. I couldn't have written it better if I dictated it to myself. The Land Registry put it in writing that the very system that they've been allowing the banks to use to attach charges and steal your collateral and right of use of the property through putting charges against your title, it's not valid. And so that's all we ever really wanted to do was to get them saying, those useful idiots who say, well, just doing my job, this is the law, this is the legal system, what can I do? Uh, well, actually, you don't have to do anything because we've done it back to you and you say that you can't do it. And if you can't do it, then we agree you can't create debt. You can't create a fictional debt and claim somebody as your property. We agree with that, but how do you like it? We like it very much when you all stand there and you say, you can't do that thing, you can't sell debt, you can't take our collateral in exchange for a debt. Nah. Okay, so can we all go home and have a nice cup of tea now and stop fucking around with each other and pretending that there is something called law which is something other than universal law. There's only that. There's legal acts and statutes that come from ecclesiastical hierarchy system and it is time to smash that indoctrinated belief straight in the third eye with some truth by you taking it to that level yourself and saying, I am the minister of my own energy matter in movement and therefore I have not got a door open in my psyche for you to be able to come and infiltrate me through and see how it works, then come and tell me that it doesn't work.